Is Novak Djokovic's new serve motion good? Oh, hey Yoda. Or is it bad? Whoa! Let's get started, guys. Hey guys, my name is Peter Freeman and you are watching Crunch Time Coaching. We are a worldwide leader in online tennis instruction and we are home of the fastest growing tennis talk show on the internet, Coffee Break Tennis with my buddy Matt Bradshaw. Before we get started, I'd love it if you would smash that subscribe button. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is. And also give it a little Johnny Mac like if you love tennis. So Novak Djokovic has a new serve that everybody's talking about at the Australian Open. It's supposed to protect his elbow. Have you seen it? Now before I give you my take on whether it's good, oh, Yoda's back. We're bad. Whoa. Let's get out of here. I want to get your take on it. So what's different about Novak Djokovic's new serve motion? It's abbreviated. That's pretty much the only difference. As you can see, Novak has had quite a transformation on his serve through the years, and the new one is the one on the far right. It is abbreviated. You can see it's much shorter. So how do I feel about it? I got mixed emotions, really. As a coach, let's talk about the good things I see. You know what back, guys? Now, having an abbreviated serve motion, it simply makes everything a lot easier. Novak, instead of having to wind up and then time the ball up here and put some extra torque on the elbow, right? He's able to now simply throw the ball up. His arm starts rising right off his frame. He's holding the ball like this. He starts rising up and goes right into the motion. And it's pretty easy to find the ball there. So he's here, comes right up, hits that serve very easy to find the ball. And what I like about what Novak's done with his serve is unlike some other players who have this abbreviated motion, his serve toss is relatively low. So he doesn't have to wait on the ball. So if you're going to decide to have an abbreviated motion, what I want you to avoid is a high ball toss. Let me show you what that would look like. So notice as I am tossing high how I have to stop. You're seeing that the ball is going out of screen. So I've got to hesitate and wait for that. There you see a serve go in the net. This is what happens to a lot of people who have that hesitation when they have the abbreviated motion and that can cause some double faults, loss of power in key moments of a match. Now you're going to see that I'm throwing the ball up there. So if you have an abbreviated motion, I'm throwing the ball up there and the ball is staying in screen, which is making it a lot easier to find the ball. Notice how these balls are traveling and hitting the fence easy on one bounce. Plus, this quick delivery is getting on the opponent really fast. So as you can see, that makes things a lot easier to hit when you have a low ball toss and an abbreviated motion. That's the good news. But there is some potential bad things about Novak Djokovic's serve motion. Don't come back. All right, good. I find that professional players and recreational players, when they have an abbreviated motion, which is limiting your range of motion, when they get nervous, the serve can start to look mechanical or forced. And you also notice a loss of serve power and more double faults. And we saw that happen this time at the Australian Open against Monfils. So we wanna watch that to see if Novak can keep this new serve motion looking pretty fluid, smooth, and if he can eliminate the double faults. So how do you decide what's right for you? The player who's playing club tennis or some tournaments out there on your local courts. Well, I personally do prefer a motion that has a little bit more of a fluid wind up. I think the best servers in the history of tennis, like your Pete Sampras's, like your John Isner's, and yes, Matt, like your Roger Federer. There, I said it. Are you happy? Actually, Pete, I'm quite happy about it. They tend to have more of this windup where they're coming here. It allows for more range of motion and rhythm in my opinion. Okay? This is the way I like to serve. It adds more of a flow into your motion. Now, I recommend this for players at the club 
who have maybe grown up playing sports and they have a really good natural throwing motion and they're used to a wind up. If you fit into that category where you consider yourself a pretty good athlete, you're very comfortable throwing a ball and you like rhythm, then I would suggest you go with that. However, if tossing gives you a problem, if the wind up feels like it's just so much going on, or you grew up maybe not playing sports, you don't consider yourself the best natural athlete, then you may really like the abbreviated motion because like we've been showing, you can just pretty much cut off all this excess, throw the ball up and hit the serve. And it uncomplicates the motion a lot. Is Novak Djokovic's serve motion good? I love Yoda. Don't you guys love Yoda? Or is it bad? So I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I hope you learned some stuff. Now you can decide if you're gonna go in an abbreviated motion or if you're gonna do the full motion. Comment below. Remember, by commenting below, you enter a raffle to win a fantastic prize at the end of the month if you have the best answer that Maddie B and I will be reading. Up next, we have a three-part series on the power serve for you. We are basically trying to be your Netflix of tennis here on YouTube. So here it comes in three, two, one, enjoy. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off. We'll see you in the power series.